sexy right there. We're back with the host of Last Week Tonight, John Oliver. Not to bring up a, you know, a, a, you know, an ugly subject, but the midterms are tomorrow. Yeah. And, you know, nobody knows what the hell's going on. Historically, we know what should happen. Yes. The polls are all over the place. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I'm interested in is that this is your first midterms as a United States citizen. Yeah, my, my first. So you get yeah. to vote in the... Yeah, are you, my first midterm vote. Yeah. Are you... Are you... Are you mid-sighted for it? No, you know what? As a, here's the thing. Like, as an immigrant who's relatively recently become an American citizen, I, the, the act of voting still means a lot to me. So uh, I did not want to go and vote early because I wanted to vote tomorrow when there was a queue, which is a You mean a line? We say line here. They won't let you vote if you say queue. If you say queue, oh, they'll tell? go, you don't get it's to vote. It's not the end of the Great Escape <laughs> queue. Get the f out of here. Yeah, I, w mm. I want the line. We love, we the, love line. the line. We love I the like line the line, line too. I like going to the... Where do you, like, what's the location where you... I'm not asking for the address, but, like, what kind of place do you go to? Do uh, you know? It's, it's nearby. It's a high school. Same thing. It's a middle school yeah. for me. And I love the... Uh, I love that there's a bake sale. Yeah. It like, feels... the kids hold a bake sale down the hallway. Do you, like, get, you know... Again, you know... <laughs> Good turn idea. Turn a little bunk on yeah, that election. It's, it's like, like yeah. yeah, being being in that line, that is what I'm looking forward to. Because there, yeah. there are moments where you feel validated as an American, and voting is right. one of those moments. Do you, when you go in there and there's the old woman with the glasses going, name, please, yeah. and she's looking for that, do you go with the Brit accent or do you fake an American accent so there's no questions? I, I, you, honestly, you get... I, I, I have faked American accents so many times in, in the past because it makes things easier. You know, right. like, even with uh, automated... Telephone lines, you kind of, they don't tend really not to, to respond very well. Yes. Please to the state English your accent. name. Yeah, exactly. So you have to kind of Let's capitulate and do like, uh, what, number four, please, ma'am. <laughs> number four. You don't, number you four. don't have to be, you I'll don't have take... to be a marshal. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, it's the only thing that works to be a kind of sedated John Wayne for me. I'll take a number four. <laughs> yeah, that's uh -huh. how I do it. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, so, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Let's talk about let's talk about your your home country. Are you still a, a, a citizen of the UK? Yeah, dual citizen. I'm a, I'm dual, a dual citizen. I'm, yeah. I don't think that's fair, but okay. Well, so I don't understand why you get to do in both. The, in, in the days of the British Empire, it was a lot more than two. So be thankful that it's gone down to this. Do you do you get to vote over there? Yeah, you can. Okay, you can yeah, you can. All right, but does it matter because over there? They've gone through like three or four prime ministers yes. with no election. They yes. just the Conservative Party just goes, let's just try this one. Yeah, how about this? drag them in? <laughs> yeah. What do we need to know about uh, Rishi Sunak? Uh, he is wealthy beyond uh, any real realistic expectation. He is so rich. Like he, he's uh, married to the heir to the Infosys fortune. So uh, he is Infosys. He, Infosys. Yeah. The... That sounds like the bad guys who like run the company in Jurassic Park that make the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a dinosaur fortune. That yeah, he's, exactly. Yeah. Well, and what's, uh, like, is doing anything we need to know about him other than he's Richie Rich? Uh, he's Richie Rich, uh, and he's responsible now for getting us out of the mess that he was very much culpable of putting us in, uh, because uh, he worked for a long time with Boris Johnson. He got him where he was. And uh, so, yeah, they're just going to try him now. And then if this doesn't work out, they'll just work their way through the alphabet. It'll just be... <laughs> basically, it's going to be like a draft. All right. Aaron Anderson, you try. <laughs> if they work it way down to the O's, I'll, I'll get a swing. How's his, how's his curtsy? Because I don't know if you saw Liz Truss's curtsy to Bad the curtsy. Queen. Yeah. It killed the Queen. Her Bad, curtsy. It did. It did. It did. Her she curtsy was... killed the Queen. <laughs> it did. It did. I'm not yeah. sure. I, I don't want to hear any bull from CBS's lawyers here. It did. Liz Truss. Through her curtsy, Terrible. killed the Queen because yeah. the Queen looked at Liz Truss, thought, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore, and died. <laughs> That's what happened. That's a fact. That's a fact. That is a, That's fact. a fact. That is a verifiable That's just... blue check. There's a blue check on that fact a, right I, there. I, I've got eight dollars on me right now. You can exactly. blue check that fact. Did you? Did, did you? You talked to curtsy, obviously. No. As, as a British citizen, everyone knows how to curtsy, right? No, I'm a peasant, so no. My my stock was not. Rishi Sunak went to some very expensive private schools. I believe he went to uh, Westminster School. Yeah. Uh, so there's every chance that he was taught to uh, yes. bow and curtsy. You were taught to read in a gravel pit. That's right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was just taught to do this whenever I'm happy. That's. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's very, very, very nice. That's right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you miss. <laughs> Get me the biggest turkey you can. Oh, Will. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I have absolutely no expectations of Rishi Sunak being anything other than a disaster. But uh, okay. no. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. see. Hey, I want to make you a deal. 
You stay there. I'll do a commercial, and we'll be right back with more John Oliver, everybody. Go to